And here tonight at five, you know, Louisville typically has a population of about 600,000 people, but a bumper crop of visitors will increase that to nearly a million this week. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Kristen Goodwillie. The National Farm Machinery Show is in town and with it comes new trends and technology. Chris Williams headed to the show and learned the talk was all about hemp, the hottest new legal crop. Is this the face of a future farmer? She may be a bit too young to fully appreciate all the big happenings around her at the National Farm Machinery Show. Harrisburg, Illinois. Carson, Carson City, City, Michigan. Michigan. Johnsville, Virginia. People from across the country and around the world are here for more than just big machines. You know, a lot of people are surprised, but agriculture is such a science-based industry. The technology is constantly changing. Ag Commissioner Ryan Quarles says the tech is always a draw. Of course, many talk about the tractor pulls, which include news conferences and a lot of envious eyes looking at the souped up machines. But another topic of conversation this year is the newly legalized crop of industrial hemp. Some here grew it last year. Others who decided not to are hearing frustrations from neighbors who did. Markets are uh, sketchy right now, obviously. So they're, they got, they're trying to get rid of it. You know, the price is probably not what they thought it was going to be. When we Are you glad now that you decided not to grow it? Absolutely, I am, because there was nowhere to sell it. There, there was just too much of it grown and, and not enough um, of, of the processors around. Is hemp going to survive what's happened in the last year with a lot of farmers not being able to sell their crop? You know, hemp is an opportunity for Kentucky to embrace the crop uh, just like we embrace other crops. So one thing we try to tell people is that there's a risk involved in this industry. Don't invest more than you're willing to lose. Commissioner Quarles hopes statistics from 2019 to be released in March will paint a more clear picture. But just as the crowds here look to the future, he insists enthusiasm remains high with 200 Kentucky companies working their way through the hiccups of hemp as spring planting approaches. At the National Farm Machinery Show, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.